Hello guys and welcome yet again to Korehima's Redstone World. Uh, today I'm going to upgrade uh, my chicken cooker up to 1.5 version since it broke once the 1.5 came out. And I'll show you what broke in it. As you can see here, I have the old design set up here with the redstone in the middle and the um, repeaters on the side like that. This doesn't work anymore. The lava stays out, which is gonna kill your animals and kill your loot. Uh, over here we have the working version. And it works again. As you can hear, you can hear a piston moving as well, so there's a little bit more redstone materials in it. And I upgraded it to 1.5 with the hoppers and a chest to get the loot inside. So here you can see the fully functioning version. Lots of chickens. You can see it uh, gathering up eggs for you from the hoppers. The chickens die, the loot goes in. And it starts putting the feathers and also the cooked chicken in once the feathers is gone in through the hoppers properly. So let's uh, get on with starting building it. As you can see here we have uh, all the materials needed for it. Only need um, dispenser, four dispensers, five redstone repeaters, seven redstone, one redstone torch, one sticky piston, one lever, one button, two lava sources, two trapdoors, six glass, two glowstone, a building block, three hoppers, one chest, and we also need um, a stair block, like so. Let me just go in here and clean out my inventory. And we can start building this thing here. Let's start with... Um, I can take out all those. Let's start with the hoppers. Place one hopper in the middle here. No, that was wrong. Underneath there. Underneath that block. Um, Let's start with the chest first, it's the easiest way. Left cli uh, shift click and uh, put the hopper into the chest. Uh, shift click into that hopper again, and shift click into that other hopper. Then we're done with the hoppers. Then we need a building block, like so. Uh, we need a button there, that's it for the button can take the glass out as well, put three glass in front like this. That's it for that. We need a glowstone put up like this. That's it for the glowstone. Then we'll start the redstone stuff. Behind this, you, from the old version, you wanted to put a redstone like this, but we won't be doing that anymore. We'll put a repeater uh, set to 1, destroy that block there, put a sticky piston there, and a block like that. We'll put uh, the redstone torch, redstone there and there. Ah, yeah, might as well place the repeat. Um, whoops. Place the dispensers, you can actually see what we're doing in accordance to the dispensers. There, then you destroy the block there and place a repeater there, set to two ticks. The same here, a repeater there, set to two tick, no, three ticks, I mean, on both sides. Same as the old one. Then you place the block on top of the repeater, like so. Uh, destroy the two blocks next to it, like this. No, only the one there, sorry. And place it up like this, redstone wise. The same here, and if you destroy those blocks to the side here, you can see the repeaters. And then I'll just place a block there and there. Get our lava, place that into the 
dispensers and test it out. The reason you need that piston is to get a one tick delay into here, so this one only got one signal to start, and the repeater can do its work and immediately afterwards sends a tick into the dispenser. It's not as compact as the old version, but it still works the same. Let's just complete it. Dispenser, well, kind of hard to ma maneuver it. I haven't gotten my sound back yet. Let's see, there, then, there, there. Besides there, we'll put the um, repeater as same as the last time. We'll put the redstone torch there. We'll put the repeater on top of there. Set to four ticks. You can set it to three ticks as well. I explained the last time why. That should set the clock right. Then just. Uh, Oh yeah, do not fill in this uh, area here, that's because of the piston needs it to move. And if you actually place a block here, you will destroy the pulse generator as well. Now, uh, you can cover that redstone there up a little bit better if you... Let me shut off that clock first, it's kind of annoying placing a lever there as you did last time. You can place a uh, uh, there, there, it won't disrupt the redstone, which is fine, but you won't, don't want to place a um, full block there, otherwise it will disrupt and it, the redstone, it won't work. Let's just test it out so we don't do anything wrong works perfectly. Let's hide up this here as well. Then we need, uh, let's see, uh, let's change this up a bit and put uh, like so. Uh, that will do. Then we'll start with uh, this thing here again it like this and then out like so then just place these blocks up like this we'll do the same on this side like so that on there and just follow this around like so then we'll go fetch our trapdoors, place them back in there, as you can see you can still reach the dispensers quite nice here, and now we have staircases up as well, so you have a little bit easier access to them. Then we just need to cover up the top here. You don't really need the uh, hopper chassis just for the automatic uh, part of it. So the behind will uh, look something like this when it's uh, completed. And the front, something like this. You can also, if you like, just take out either this block here and place the chest or place it under there. Won't really matter because you can still open the chest through the glass. Uh, let's see. Let's just put all the materials back in again. The only thing we did don't have in there is the lava. Oopsie. There you go. And chicken cooker 1.5 version from Korihima. Let's uh, 
just filled it up with a little bit of eggs and uh, see that it hatches egg comp hatches chickens uh, as it should and that will le leave the end of the tutorial like so there we go, the chickens are coming down Now this is our uh, not adult chicken, so let's just imagine that it's taken a little bit of uh, time already. And they're fully grown up. Just hit that off and hit that to cook them up. been because I had the clock on. Let's just do one more attempt guys. Since they got hit by the eggs. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. It works. It's just because I had the clock on while I spawned them as well. So I died like that. And the uh, chicken didn't get cooked. If you find the hopper thing a little bit buggy, it's just go back to the old half step uh, variant I have over here and do it the old fashioned way without uh, item collection. Doesn't really matter. That's been it for Cory Heeman, the update on the dual chicken cooker. Hope you enjoyed and be back soon for more stuff.